Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And a good uh, Tuesday morning to you. Unfortunately, we've got a little bit of active weather to talk about this morning with some showers and even a couple of thunderstorms out there. So want to jump right into it. One of those locations seeing the rain right now is Williston. A little hard to see, but you can see just a little bit of a shine there on the uh, roadways. I think that's Highway 2 from some of that uh, wet weather that's been falling right now across the west. 61 right now in Williston. A little bit breezy with those northwest winds at 18 miles an hour, but the dew point is nice and dry at 49 degrees. Here's a look at the temperatures across the state. I'll zoom it in for a closer look at your neighborhood. Most places right now are in the upper 50s and lower 60s. So it's a pretty comfortable morning out there as you head out the door. Further to the north, about the same thing. You can see there, 63 in Newtown, 63 as well in the Magic City. 57 in near the international border in the Crosby area. Winds not too bad right now out of the north and northwest at between 5 and 15 miles an hour. I don't think winds will be that big of an issue today. Here's a look at the satellite and radar picture. You can see we've got a, a what's called a short wave that's moving through the atmosphere right now. There's just enough instability to squeeze out a rumble of thunder or two. Here's a close look. We do have a radar hole out here, so it's a little bit more expansive in the coverage than what you see here. You can see a strong thunderstorm developing just to the south of Newtown, so a rumble of thunder expected here in the next hour or so. And then a much stronger storm uh, just to the uh, in southeastern Grant County, about to move uh, toward the uh, Morton County area. Elgin, this storm is on your doorstep, so expect some very heavy rainfall over the next probably half hour or so. And this storm will continue, or this system will continue to slide off to the east. It will be a quick mover. So I think by the time we get on the other side of, let's say, KX News at noon, most of the precipitation should be to the east of the area. And it should clear out relatively quickly so that by the time you're headed home from work today, we should be seeing partly sunny, if not mostly sunny skies. Not a lot of rain expected with this system unless you get trapped under one of those stronger storms. But I think a general General trace to a quarter of an inch of precipitation should be expected today. 81 today in the capital city with those rain showers moving in probably around 9 a.m. Between 9 and noon, I think, is the best chance for the rain in the Bismarck area. About the same thing in the Magic City. You'll get to 80 today at cloud cover, kind of keeping temperatures relatively in check today. Here's a look at highs elsewhere today. Most places will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. A little bit warmer to the uh, southeast where they have a little bit more sunshine. You can see the sun just starting to come up there in the Dickinson area. A couple of morning sprinkles this morning, then a thunderstorm or two tomorrow. Mostly sunny for your Thursday. Right now in Williston, that rain should end by the lunch hour, leaving you with mostly sunny conditions for Wednesday and Thursday. Here's your extended forecast for the capital city. You can see there rain this morning and then the chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow night and into Thursday. And then a break before more precipitation arrives for the weekend. Still ironing out the details of that, whether it's a more widespread or scattered event. But temperatures over the next seven days should be relatively close to climatological averages, guys, mostly in the 70s and lower 80s. But definitely watching that uh, rain and thunderstorms for this morning. Wouldn't be surprised if one or two of them become severe. I was going to say, that's something to uh, keep tuned in to KX to see because it looks like we could be going through some of this for the foreseeable future here in the next week. So, do you, so do you have a camper, Alicia, when you go camping? It sounds I like do. you do. I do, yeah. We no longer tent it, fortunately, but the campers, you know, I always watch my app closely when we are camping yeah. because I am terrified of storms in a camper. Right. Got to watch that Cakes, mm -hmm. uh, Cakes weather app. All right. Thanks, Robert. When we return on Good Day Dakota, how businesses in the area could be impacted by the many canceled events this summer. We'll have the details coming up after the break.